Oh, sorry. I forgot about that. Use the air backslide. That's better. Bounce light. I'm like super quiet. That's so weird. Okay. Let's see. There you go. Taking Windex. Wiping off my camera. Can't make this shit up. like super in my face oh my god I don't have enough room oh my god super duper in my face super duper everybody's like dang girl they in and they out I see y'all I saw y'all popping in and popping out Oh, y'all popping it and popping out. I promise I'm going to get started soon. Promise, 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 promise. Okay. Let's do this. Let's knock out some of these lip swatches first. Get that out of the way. I'm also going to be doing... I'm going to be putting ribbons on this. Ribbons on these. These are my Dale's... Dale's... Los Muertos or Day of the Dead or Sugar Skull um, new head um, head pieces. And I'm going to be putting ribbons around the bands because of my afro. It, these bands are very bouncy and they're not sticking in my head. So I'm going to put ribbons on them to secure it into place. So that's for later. Let's get these lip swatches out of the way. Get the rest of this Kat Von D out of the way. Oh my God, it's just all over the place. Okay, these are the ones I've got. Um, The one that's going to be nude on me is going to be Lolita 1, Lolita 2, Bow and Arrow maybe, and then uh, Double Dare will be, but Noble will be very pale on me. It's going to be like hideous, so just brace yourself. So I'm going to start with Lo Noble because it's the lightest shade. Okay, you do. So I'm going to swatch it. Okay, I'm going to swatch it right here. This is, what the hell is this? Noble. Noble is something I use just in the center of my lips for a highlight. So on its own, it's going to look like I am out of my fucking gourd. So all I'm doing is just putting it straight on. It's not streaky. Oh my God. This color by itself is scary. Ah. Uh, Hey, see who that is? Kwana, Kwana, welcome. This is a live video, and I want to preface this by saying um, that the quality is a front facing camera from a Sony Note 10. So it's not going to be high, high quality. I can smell my glue gun over there. So, um, And that's something I'm going to be talking about a little bit later. Okay, this is a little streaky. Oh my god. Look at that straight up. That looks crazy. That looks so wrong on so many levels. Why is it so zoomed in? I don't understand that. Looking in the mirror and looking in the screen, this is true to color. And this is Noble, Kat Von D. Okay, I'm going to go in for a second swatch. Oh, my God. This is a sin against God. Homie, don't play it. Look at that. Look at that shit. Okay, so I don't have any treatment on my lips. 
Oh my God. And um, it's a little streaky, but I only use this. This looks horrible. I only use this on the center of my lips when I'm doing like Lolita with a lip liner and I'm uh, using a little bit on the center so I don't use the whole lipstick. Thank you, Kwana. Kwana, great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the love and support. I really appreciate all of y'all. Well, let me get up and get my what to my um, makeup remover. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna wipe off Noble. Oh my god, it is like there. What is that makeup remover? I hate it, but it gets the makeup off when I need it. If you don't have a makeup remover oil, anything like olive oil, coconut oil, it'll remove it. Oil breaks down the makeup. I don't know the science behind it, but it does. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. My lips are going to hate me. I feel like this is super zoomed in. Why is that super zoomed? Oh my God. Like, I just, oh my God, undo that. Hold on. Oh my fucking God. Okay, let me do that. Y'all see that room? There you go. Hey, hey, all right. That's horrible. That's way fucking better. I'm like, why is it all zoomed up in my face? Okay, I'm tripping. That's fucked up. Okay, I'm learning. So these lives i'm learning from every single time this is so fucking way fucking better i was like why is it all in my face see my pores and shit okay way better i love this i love this so before i go into the next swatch what i have in front of me is a glam core that fancy motherfucker that they have up there i have i got it several months ago uh, when they had a really good sale so this is supposed to mimic natural light I'm using a front facing camera from the Note 10 and I'm using a bounce light. This way I don't have a key light. I don't think that's necessary. I think with the front facing camera, there's only so much it will process, but this is supposed to mimic natural light. I don't have this setting, which is the, um, I'll show you. This one's supposed to be indoor lighting. So this one has a little bit more yellow to it. And this one, which is supposed to mimic more daylight, is a little more neutral. I feel like it goes a little bit more blue, but this one, the end, this is indoor lighting. So it goes a little more golden. So I might keep that. It looks a little better that way too. Anyway, let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. Anyway, next one is um, bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. That's another one I like to use around the perimeter or the center of my lips. Pretty color. That's bow and arrow. I can't believe that. See the, the front facing. There you go. That's bow and arrow. Is that about true to color? Looking here. That's about close to true. True to color. Mm -mm. This almost looks nude, but slightly too light. So you'd have to use a lip liner with this. Looking in the mirror and looking here, this is true to color. It is, but with arrow, I'm going with a second coat, not streaky at all. Uh, no issues. I need to get another one. I really like bow and arrow. Okay, I'm not gonna bat. 
So this would a bow and arrow with a lip liner. I remember bow and arrow at one point sold out. This one is not on sale at Sephora. If you watch my previous live video, a lot of those that I did swatches of were on sale. Um, this one could be a pretty good nude if you did a darker lip liner. Bow and arrow. And that is way better. There you go. Bow and arrow. That's more true to color. I want to say, yep, that's more true. Bow and arrow. Dope. Like it. Let's see. Um. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. The first one's Noble is I brought Noble because I saw a YouTuber. I forget his name. Her name. I don't know yet. I don't follow anymore because they said something that I didn't really care for. And I, I, I don't like to follow people that I'm like, that's just wrong. You know, you're discriminating against a certain group or talking about a certain amount of people. I'm not about that negative energy. So I just left them alone. But, but they use noble in the center of their lips. They line their lips, do a darker shade, then just put a little bit of noble in the center. That's why I got noble. It's just only a little bit for the center. And it works so beautifully. It gives you the most pouty DSLs ever. So if you already have DSLs, Line that bad boy with a little bit of noble in the center. Oh my god, beautiful, beautiful, really nice nude. But um, that other one is not meant to be by itself. If you're my complexion, you're my skin queen, or queen, you're my skin twin, you uh, and darker, you're gonna have to use a liner for that. Even if you're medium complexion, you probably still have to use a liner for that. Okay, oh my god. There you go. This one should be better. Let's do Lolita. It's my favorite freaking color. This one will look nice on. It should. I'm almost out of it. I need to get more. As you can see, I've had this for a long time. I just dropped that one. That's okay. You see that I've rubbed off this and this on here. I've had, this is OG. So it will rub off in time. So you have to really depend on the labels here to mark off what is what. And this hasn't fallen off yet. All right, cool. All right. They, okay, let me tell you a story about that. So uh, DSLs, I did not know what the fuck that meant. So I was working at Sephora years ago. can't believe it's been years ago. And somebody says, you got those DSLs. I said, what? talking about what are and finally i said what are dsls because i'm not that kind of person that looks shit like that up and they're like dick sucking lips and i was like oh i said y'all are some nasty bitches i was like okay I, I just stuck ever since milf is another one i was like i didn't know shit like that i was i'm very much a homebody i don't go around people like that but dsls she had to educate me what that is. I said, they were nasty. I learned a lot of things working at Sephora on a lot of different levels than you would ever think. I learned about stuff that I just wish I was never privy to. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, y'all are fucking freaks. I love y'all, but God damn, keep that shit to yourself. Okay, so this is Lolita. I'm going to turn a little bit towards the light here and try to get hit it. Where I think it looks. That looks more true. There you go. That's better. That's what we do. Dick sucking lips and like DSLs. And when a man says, I really like your lips, I say, Yeah, just disgusting. I know why you like on lips. It's gross. Be nasty. Soup coolers. I like that. I hear soup coolers a lot. I would get that. But DSLs took me a minute. MILF took me a minute too. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, this is way better. Really good new. Um, you don't need a liner with this. This is one coat. This is Lolita. I'm almost out of this. So it's probably not as hefty. 
Lolita's very, very pretty. I need to get another one. I don't think it'll ever go on sale, but I need to get another one. So we'll go on with another coat. So pretty. Got some right on my teeth. It reminds me of Marc Jacobs du jour. It reminds me of Marc Jacobs du jour. Really similar in color. That's better. My natural girls out there who want very little color on and want a matte lip, this will be for you. A little bit in the center, bop, 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 bop out, and you don't really have to line anything. And it got straight up on my teeth. That's gross. But it's pretty Lolita. Whatever Lola wants, right? Lola gets. Okay. Lolita is probably one of my most used liquid lipsticks every time I want a nude lip. I'll start with, uh, where is my Mac? This holy chestnut, chestnut and uh, night moth are like holy grails. I've had this for years and look, it usually, it was this long and I'm still got this much left. It lasts a very long time. They are a little bit pricey. However, very little goes a long way. Chestnut with Lolita is holy crap. Um, I have not seen MAC products in um, TJ Maxx. Usually, every TJ Maxx is different. Um, if you go to a TJ Maxx that's in a high, you know, high-end area, they tend to have the best, better products. I don't see MAC too much. However, I see shit ton of Lolita. Sometimes I see Sigma there, too. Um, uh, Cats are not Lolita. Kat Von D. But I never see their liquid lipsticks. I see more of their contour kits than I see anything else. But it's always good to keep an eye out. I buy stuff all the time. I brought skincare products from um, TJ Maxx not uh, not too long ago. But if they don't case them right, people open them up, use them, and then put them back in. That's the only downside. But a lot of the times they're in cases where people can't test them. So when you go and purchase them, they take them out of the case and you're good to go. But I have not seen any of them. I'll try it. I said, and all you do is bring it back, right? I haven't had any problems with a TJ Maxx or that, you know, uh, that the Ross TJ Maxx or anything like that as far as products being bad or horrible. And that includes skincare products. I mean, as long as it works, I don't care how old it is. You know, as long as it's freaking working. And if they have a really good return policy, return it, and they usually just take it right back. So we've got this and this and this. And we're going to try Lolita 2. Let's do Lolita 2. Lolita 2 is more pinky. And I, I don't think, and it never grew on me. So, like, yeah, it's more pink. It's not really, I don't know why they call it Lolita 2. It's got too much pink in it. I brought it and going like, ooh, it's going to be my next favorite. I'm like, oh, no. So a little update on my nails. They're three weeks old. Oh my god, I cannot wait to pop them off. Look, like this one's coming up. And then this one's coming up. And that has to do with me picking up stuff and not being conscientious that they're long and pressing on them and they hurt so bad so they end up lifting. It has nothing to do with my nail tech. Okay, Serenade. Thank you for the feedback. Let thank you, thank you, thank you for letting people know. I've never had a problem. Um, thank you, thank you for loving my nails. Thank you, girl. Um, I've never had a problem. Never, ever, ever had a problem. Never, ever, ever had a problem. And I've seen my TJ Maxx sells like Prada, Gucci. They lock it up though, but um, Lon Vaughn, I think I've seen a few of that. That's very rare. A few, did I say Dolce Gabbana already? Dolce Gabbana pieces, but not uh, handbags, but they do sell more uh, Fendi. They could sell Fendi bags. They're fancy. I like to go there because they usually have the more um, high-end products, but that's what's catered. In that area, it's catering towards what the market wants, and that's what they want, and uh, it's been doing well. Because they, they keep getting it in. 
Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's... They also have a Bloomingdale's outlet. They have a Sex Fifth Avenue outlet that sells similar products. So they, uh, they're trying to keep up with the market. So, yeah, Lolita. Oh, let me swatch it next to Lolita One. I do not use this one a lot. It goes more, yeah, it's more peachy orange, no, pink. I don't like the pink in it. Pink's not my favorite color in the world, even though I'm wearing pink right now. Uh, let's see, let's get it. There you go. That's the better lighting for it. Looking in the mirror, looking here, that one's close. This is Lolita Two. One swatch, it is not patchy. I'm gonna go in for number two. Oh my God, help me. You know, it was so funny. Um, a few, two days ago, I got my car towed when I was visiting somebody not really funny because i've had my car towed before it's like uh i think my car was towed like completely they freaked out it was the funniest thing i said i called about four or five places finally i called 911 i said this is a non-non-emergency do y'all have my car and usually don't call this and this and this call 911 say it's not a high emergency i'm in this area my car is on i want to make sure you don't have it in your possession and they'll link you to the proper department and they'll get you, they'll tell you where your car is. It was just, it was super stupid. It was super fucking expensive. I just did not understand it. Sitting up there just flipping on like, are you serious? So this is Lolita 2 with two coats. It's not bad. It's just not like my favorite color in the world. Uh, not my favorite color, but yeah. It's Lolita. Okay, that's Lolita 2. Clean off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm removing these nails tonight. So, because they're lifting, I got to. And I am voting tomorrow. I finally, I have, I have five index cards. I didn't know how many districts I had to vote for. It was ridiculous. I went through a good chunk of them. I wasn't able to go through the state houses as much, as much as possible. I wrote down my notes, my concerns, um, being more of an educated voter, and I'm holding everybody accountable. So most of the people that I wrote down was close to 100 something people. I can remember some of their policies, and I am going to hold them accountable. When I get in office, they give an office, I'm going to write on their ass. It's very, very, very important. Um, so I'm hoping to see the um, Texas flip. I hope it flips. I'm hoping it flips. So I've never seen my family be so pert. Did you vote? Did you vote? Even me, I'm like, did you vote? Did you vote? Did you vote? Did you vote? And why didn't you vote? And even people that we probably don't have the same ideals, we've all been like, you need to get out there and vote regardless. You need, did you vote? Yeah, I need to vote. I was like, you need to just go ahead and do it. You can vote. You can vote. Okay. Um, that's Lolita. So if you haven't gone out there to vote, please do. Please. Please, please, please do. Don't ever think your vote doesn't count. Every little bit helps. And staying involved in um your pol your local politics is key too. Very, very important. Hold these politicians accountable. Ride their ass. Ask the what, why, who, where. We need a lot more transparency when it comes to these politicians, these politics, this money, where everything is going. What are you doing for our community? I voted for you. What are you doing for me? I mean, there were some politicians on there. They had nothing as far as their campaign. It was blank. I've never seen anything quite like it. I was like, am I missing something here? But because... People are so less involved in that because it's not really taught or really talked about and how that works on a state level. Politics on a state level are different than politics in a federal level. We're taught the basics, but we're not taught 
detailed federal level stuff. So it's just, it's, I'm getting started. I don't want to even get started about that. So we just need to be involved in our community as much as possible. We need to be involved, period. Period. Put that on period. So this is Double Dare. Uh, what did I use Double Dare for? Double Dare kind of looks like um, Lolita. I feel like it's a little bit more peachy. I think I just use this for the center of the lips. Yeah, I do. What's going to be funny is when they see me walking up there to go vote and they see this hair. If they give me a, I will have a fucking fit. They better not. Um, my community, I would say, is. I wouldn't say diverse. It is and it isn't. It's more of the community where they're uh, socially, their mix is socially acceptable. Um, uh, they're not going to like do something like if I live, lived up the way, they probably wouldn't be so kind to me. Uh, but, um, for the most part, they're very accepting. Uh, I've had some casual conversations with neighbors and, uh, had some dialogues and stuff like that. So they're, it's not bad, um, at all. But um, when I was passing by the voting area, there was probably 95% Caucasians and not one African-American person, but my community is not predominantly African-American or even 50%, I, I don't even think. It's like very small. So it is what it is. This is one coat of Double Dare, and this is Double Dare next to Lolita. So it's more of a deeper pink. This looks more nude, matches a little better. There we go. I'm going to do a second coat for shits and giggles. Ooh, that's real bright. Ooh. Kind of matches my outfit a little bit. A little bit. Two coats of the Double Dare. And I think that's it. Three, four, five. Yeah, five. What's the fifth one at? Oh, shoot. It fell on the ground. There you go. So let's... I may keep that on. Let's see if I can... Zhuzh that up. Look at that thing out right there. Better. Mm, I'm going to put a little bit noble in there. The center. That's pretty much it. That is 
was that double double deer? What the hell I just have? Yeah, double deer. Double deer. Mac chestnut. I lined it really heavy in the corners, kind of blended it out. Doing this and a little bit of noble in the center. And that gives you a nice nude lip. If you want to put a little bit of gloss on it, you can. I'm going to try this Bite Beauty gloss. I haven't tried it. Opal, please don't let this be a hot flipping mess. Oh my God. What is that? I'm going to leave that in the center. It's more silvery. Oh my God, this helps with my lips. Being really dry. If you want to go in with a pencil, a little bit of a pencil liner, you can. Go and see what this looks like. Have all the lights on. There you go. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to keep it on just a little. So while I'm here, I have a nice little candle going on here. Let's talk about content creators. I hate to say it like that because I feel like it's not very inviting. Or YouTubers that happen to create videos or post videos. Um, I just want to kind of talk to y'all about my um, experience where I start from and kind of the cost and everything that's associated with being a content creator. Um, it's not all glitz and glamour, what some may think about. Um, it's costly. It's extremely costly. And I'm going to be 120% transparent extremely costly for someone who is not in, in this full time is not being sponsored is coming out of their own pocket it's extremely extremely expensive yeah that looks better i like it a little bit back like that got my tiger print and shit i'm feeling all wild so um i've had a um let's see couple of comments plucking out my fro. I had a couple of comments referring to my lighting when it comes to main, I'm assuming mainly my lives. You have to understand, again, I'm going to reiterate this for the third or fourth time, that this is a front facing camera. So this isn't the best quality camera there is. Then I have really good lighting. This lighting retails, kid you not, $450 to $500. It's a very expensive mirror and it does several different lighting settings. I have a $10 mirror here for a backlighting. And then I have this lighting right here that's my ceiling fan using it semi like a key lighting. So then you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, Jenny? What, are, what the fuck are you talking about? Again, that goes into researching lighting and what kind of lighting you're trying to achieve. So that's another thing educating yourself on all of this you almost have to become a photo photo it's better to learn about photography and you can transfer that to videography you're learning about all this stuff and buying all this equipment and trying to put all this shit together and figure out how to make it work because there's some youtube videos that are very detailed and there's some that are not so um if i wanted to upgrade the quality of this live right I would take my Sony 6500. This is about a $2,000 camera. Okay, this, this is a $2,000 camera. A lot of these Sony cameras are easily close to, it's $2,000 with the lens. Don't even get me fucking started on the lens. The lenses can be just as expensive as a camera body. So we will get in that a little bit later. But you take the camera, you have to buy an adapter, attach it to a laptop, put it on a stand if you have one to accommodate it. I have two or three stands that I have that cost money even on Amazon we're talking about 10 to 15 maybe even 50 dollars for a stand they do last a long time but it is an investment now everybody has that point 
to spend like that on something that they're like, I don't know if I really want to take this that seriously. I do this because I love doing it. I do this because I love doing it. I do this because I love doing this. I don't get any reimbursement other than the occasional quote unquote 100 to $150 that I receive every three to four months. Rewind. Every three to four months, when I hit that $100 threshold, they send me a check. They being Google. Back in the day, pre getting involved, pre CEO changing and deciding we're going to take this money away from these content creators and we're the ones, the little ones that are trying to kind of come up, we're going to just going to fuck them over. Matter of fact, the new people have to have so many subscribers before now they can get ad revenue. Oh, and on top of that, the people that were, were that were actually getting ad revenue, we're gonna we're gonna have it even lower. So I used to get a check for about a hundred bucks every month at my height. Hundred bucks every month. That's pretty nice. And what I would do is take that back and put it into makeup, right? That's and that was just doing it because I love doing it. So imagine these YouTubers who have invested their soul and everything into this shit get all their money reduced because now you don't get the views anymore now they want you to be more interactive now they want you to post they want you to share and now they want to do it and i did all of that and i'm still low man on the totem pole so that's why i do a lot of lives because it reaches more people than my videos that i spend fucking hours editing don't even get me started on editing i have adobe editing software it's expensive some cost a monthly fee then you have to learn how to use the software. Then you have After Effects. Then you have Lightroom. Then you have Photoshop. I had to learn that on my own. I am a mother with three freaking kids and a full-time job. You know how difficult that can be? And trying to give myself peace of mind, I'm doing what I can when I can because I'm trying not to have it overwhelming for me. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm not trying to make a career out of this. I love this because I love doing this. Period. I love doing this because it's helping other people. I don't do this for profit. One day, if it turned into something like that, cool beans. If it never turns into that, all right, cool. I'm not, it's not that serious, but I do this because I love doing it. So, lighting. $450, $300 something dollars. But I, I put in mind that I'm only using this mainly when I get ready. Okay. I have a ring light here that I've saved, that I've been wanting for four years. I finally got it. It's a $500 fucking ring light. Okay? Not kidding you. Not, and these, this shit doesn't go on sale. And this is the Diva ring light. This is the original Diva ring light. And I had a ring light before that that was on Amazon, and it's not the same. Diva ring light and the Amazon ring lights, very similar, close. But this one right here, I, it's worth the money. Okay, cheap lighting, even if I got it on the cheap, we're looking at $150, $250 for lighting. Then I have to find a space for it. Then I have to set it up. Then I have to invest in the software on how do I fucking put a fucking Lux on the motherfucker. I, I'm still trying to figure that shit out. Then you have to color grade. Then you have to go back in and you're snipping and you're editing and you're cutting. And then you start losing your fucking mind when you're editing and you have to stop sometime to come back to it. Then if you want to do transitions, special effects, zhuzh it up a bit, it's money, it's time. And that's for the big YouTubers, and that's for the small YouTubers, and that's everybody in between. It's a lot. So give your YouTubers, your favorite YouTubers, who probably don't have the best quality videos, a little bit of a break. Just a little bit of a break because it costs coin, it costs money. And a lot of these YouTubers are going to other platforms to make money where they used to. They're struggling. And that's even the big ones. They have to find other platforms because YouTube has cut off their whole levels. Cut them off. Cut them clear off. So now they have to find other revenues. They have to probably take endorsements that they normally wouldn't take because YouTube has cut off their balls. Has cut up their balls. These are that's your lifeline. These people right here have made careers out of this and they've been hurt too. So some people have to resort to other platforms. And I see the, not necessarily the death of YouTube, but I see YouTube 
I see things like Instagram, TikTok, uh, other platforms, maybe even Pinterest. If they got into some, uh, what's the other one? Vimo or something like that. Uh, the, uh, another, what's the other one? It was like Venmo or something like that. Not Venmo, uh, whatever. It's, uh, is it Venmo? I don't remember. Other platforms are going to start do dominating Twitch. Uh, things like, uh, I've heard of Patreon a lot. So a lot of people are moving away from YouTube and going to these other ones. I do like about these lives is that they post it afterwards so people can see it. So I don't edit this. Once it goes up, it's there. This is unedited. This is live. This is me 100%. So if I say something fucking stupid, I can't take it off unless I delete the whole video. So that's what I like about the lives too as well. So it's just to say that um, if just remember that when you do put that out there, feedback is always appreciated, but you have to understand it's at a cost. It's not that serious. <laughs> It's not that serious. Like every once I upgrade something, literally, this is I've been I'm an OG at this. Go back, follow me. If you don't know, this has been what 10 fucking years. Once I upgrade something, I have to upgrade something else. And then I upgrade that. Then I'm back upgrading the same thing that I upgraded a long time ago. Then I'm getting lenses for these cameras to get that bokeh effect in the back, that blurred background and effect. That costs just as much as the body. I'm talking about lenses can cap your ass. Lenses, really good quality lenses can go anywhere from the cheapest that I have, $150 all the way to $500 for a fucking lens. For a motherfucking lens. For a lens. I'm not even a professional photographer for a fucking lens. Is it worth it because I like the quality and it, I would think y'all would like the quality? Yes. I'm still working on finding out what's the best lighting. Always natural light for me is the best lighting, but sometimes I don't always get to natural light. But if I can't, I'm in my room and I want to get videos out to you. That's where that 350 something odd dollar ring light comes in effect because it mimics natural daylight the best, even better than an Amazon uh, ring light. There's another one too. I have another mirror over here that's lighting. I've tried different things. Um, sometimes I can get it just right. and Sometimes I can't. I do not color grade and I do not put a filter on my uh, photos. And a lot of people do that. The more the pro YouTubers, not saying all of them, not talking about the gamers, but more so in the beauty community, they're going to color grade and they're going to make sure that their photos, if they can't get that right exact color, they're not trying to manipulate you. They're just trying to get the best close to skin tone color. Um, there's... So, um, it's not so much in the Canon, but in the Sony, there are, it's called something. So you can color grade it. There's different settings in here where when you record it and you play it back, it looks almost black and white. But when you go in and you color grade it, it looks perfect. That takes knowledge, that takes learning, and that takes patience. I don't have that sometimes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I don't have that. I was like, I don't have a lot of patience for a lot of things. TikTok kind of pissed me off for a little bit. But it just, I said, I had to learn it. I was like, if I wanted to use it, I had to learn it. And once I learned how to use it, it became easy. But then easier. But then you have to do, you have to practice. You have to use repetition. You have to, once you lose it, like in Photoshop, I could airbrush skin. I could do that. I've lost it. So now I have to go back to my old videos and uh, old tutorials that I saved in my YouTube to find out how I airbrush fucking skin because I don't fucking remember. So that's frustrating. So you're starting all over again to remember how you airbrushed and did all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this stuff. A lot of stuff. Photoshop, editing, layers, mask layers, lighting, color adjustments, Lux, all that stuff. Some people offer free Lux online. I think some of YouTube offers different Lux filters to make it look a little bit different, to give a cinematic effect. What is your vision? Where do you want to go? Um, I'm not saying YouTube is the shadiest place on earth. It's just a lot harder now for these people who have probably these big dreams and ideas to really get it up there easier because it's it's kind of discouraging that. Well, then now you've got to wait for the viewers and now you have to get a certain viewership and then we will pay you pennies on the dollar while we rack it up and it goes into YouTube and Google's if you I think Google owns YouTube 
their pocket and the creators get shit. Uh, they'll probably get like a little bit of an ass kissing. If you notice, to look at this. You'll notice beauty gurus, tech gurus, whatever, that they all do. You'll notice that they'll all do certain themes at the same time. Peep that shit. Peep that shit. You'll notice that if it's a clown, okay, we want you to do Halloween. It's like Google and YouTube get together. Okay, okay, okay. We want you to do a Halloween theme based around clowns. And we want you to use NYX products and we want you to use this. Clock that shit. Clock it. Please tell me I'm not the only one that knows that. I'm like, wait, I'm like, Nikki Tutorials was doing this and this person is doing this and this person is doing this. And it's the big YouTubers. ain't the small ones. It's the big ones. And you're like, what the fuck? Did a memo go out to all the YouTubers, these big YouTubers say, hey, we want you to really do this look. Or, hey, we want you to promote this. Or, hey, we're going to do this and this and this. I, I don't know what that's all about, but that's very, very, very concerning. Very concerning. Very concerning. So, anyway, that's my rant. I just wanted to basically say, just be kind to your your smaller creators, your in-between creators, and your bigger creators too, because it takes a lot of work. They that's not just like they click a button, they fucking sit down. If they do click a button and sit down, it took them months, if not years, to get to that level to where they could click a fucking button and everything is perfect for them to be able to produce the content and get it out to you. So I have a hundred and twenty respect for all YouTube creators. At all, just be a little bit patient. It costs money, it costs coins, it costs time, it's energy. Not everybody is meant to do this. Not everybody has the patience for it. And it takes a little bit of love and concerning uh, and concern and uh, love and support. And everybody's been loving and supporting. Just I'm loving and supporting. I don't care. As long as I can see you clearly, I don't care the color grading or I can't really see your skin or the color isn't right or it's a little bit off. If I'm enjoying your content, I will never comment on the quality of your your videos because I know you're trying to bust your ass and get it out there because, you know, you got a job, right? They, family, kids, bills, things like that. And this person is taking their time and doing something that they have a passion for doing. That's huge. So love and support, that's what we need. Criticism, a lot less criticism. Constructive, okay, Criticism without actually doing it yourself. Feedback, okay. Hey, I like to see a better quality video from you. I've had that over the years. Okay, don't go on there and start telling somebody your teeth are yellow as hell. I was like, okay, well, are you going to give them money to bleach their teeth? Do you have their teeth in their mouth? I mean, I've said all kinds of shit said to me. It was like, you know, I don't really give a fucking, you don't pay my motherfucking bills. You don't pay my motherfucking bills. Okay, so these are my my um, Day of the Dead crowns. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm supposed to do a look tonight. So I wanted to get this live over with. And I was thinking about putting some of these with little rhinestones. Oh my God. These with a little bit of rhinestones. Can y'all see that? This is going to be a pain in the ass to do. So I don't know if I want to leave the rhinestones out, but while I'm here, I'm going to glue a ribbon down. I don't know if I'm going to do this one tonight. Ah, it's so big. Let's see. Or am I going to do this one tonight? Ooh, this is fucking dope. Okay, so I have my hot glue gun over here. I can smell it. Because this doesn't really fit on my head, I'm going to line this with ribbon and see if it will, once I put the ribbon in, I can tie it behind my head and keep it in place. Because, it, yeah, it doesn't want to, it's it bounces back too much. And this fro is, like, way too freaking big. Look, um, you can't tell me shit. Can't tell me shit. Got this ribbon at Walmart for, like, two bucks. It matches the color perfectly. You're not going to be able to see it, but I'm a, you know, I'm petty like that. Oh, I got this candle smelling good. I got some candles at Kroger's. They were on sale. If you're in the South, you'll probably have a Kroger's. But up north, I don't think they have little to any. 
I think it's a, more of a southern um, thing. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm missing some comments. Alita 2 doesn't look bad. Everyone knocking on my door, texting me about my voting. This is the young lady came to my house, asked me who am I voting for. Oh, no, she didn't. Um, good for you. Quan, thank you. Oh, I appreciate that feedback. I'm sorry that they're asking you. That's rude. You're not supposed to ask anybody who you're voting for. That's just, you never, that's just proper etiquette. Uh, that's what I've been taught. You never ask. I don't want to fucking know this period. But um, this election is just very, very important this year. And it's, I, and I think it's good. I think people really saying, hey, we need to get out there and do something is, is great. Um, my, my personal thing that I can hold myself accountable for is to go out there and make sure I'm involved afterwards to make sure these motherfuckers are doing what they're supposed to do because I'm going to ride their ass 24 7. I think that's about, yeah, that's good. I think I can do that. I think do this. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Yeah, they be asking. Like, that ain't none of your motherfucking, none of your motherfucking business who I'm voting for. It's, this is bad etiquette. I don't ever ask. Um, I don't talk about it. I don't ask people questions. I just go and do my thing. And um, I make sure that the people that I that I do vote for who do get in office are held accountable. That's what I'm going to do. That's going to be my mission in life. Ugh. Oh, God, that's kind of warm. Ugh. Chardonnay, red, red wines are good. White wines, not so much. Okay, I'm going to take my little glue gun here. I'm going to put this here. Let's see if I don't fuck this up. Oh, my God. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tomorrow, um, since they are open on Sunday for voting, I'm going to go and vote tomorrow. I've made my notes. Um, I've done my research. Learned a lot. And um, I'm going to go vote. For who I want to vote for and get it out of the way. Get my little sticker. I want a sticker. They better give me a sticker. Tomorrow, you know, I'm one that I'm that petty bitch that's like, I need a sticker. Okay, this up here. That's cool. It's not very even. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't trust my never mind, I'm gonna say that. But anyway, uh do um thank you uh thank you for liking my videos i find this a little easier because i can get it to you quicker um i'll probably do a live tomorrow like voter makeup or something like that i want to get dressed up i don't want to be like ah i just want to be um uh, to put on normal makeup lately the past couple of days i've been doing halloween makeup. check out my um instagram um Fab Jenny, the same as my YouTube name, F-A-B-J-E-N-N-I-E. And I'm showing you a lot of Halloween looks. Um, the past couple of years, I've been lackluster on energy. And I figured out why that is. And I've uh, been way more, po not positive, but way more energetic lately. So I've been doing a lot of Halloween looks. After October, I moved down considerably. And I want to do more beauty looks. Um, so right now, I also have a TikTok. Again, that's my little dirty little secret. Um, I'm learning how to do some TikToks. I've really enjoyed that um, that platform a lot. It reminds me a lot of what YouTube used to be like. Um, and believe it or not, it used YouTube used to be their algorithms used to be like that, and it's not like that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's a lot selective. And that is my thing. So um, I'm finding a lot of videos, a lot of content. Um, I like their algorithms a lot better than I like YouTube's. So it, it reminds me a lot of YouTube and what it used to be and how excited I used to be about it. Um, 
viewership at the end of the day, you know, I do it more for shits and giggles. I like it. Some videos make me laugh. It may not make other people's laugh. I have some funny ones on there. I have some serious ones on there. I don't have any dance ones quite yet. Um, so maybe a little bit later. I'm just trying to get used to the whole application and everything. So you've got YouTube. You've got your Instagram you're trying to keep up with. Instagram's a lot easier for me because all I'm doing is posting photos and doing a little bit of hashtags. Everybody's been so loving and supporting and so kind and so blessed to have these very kind people that tell me very kind things. And if they don't like something I post, they just don't really comment on it. And I was like, and that's totally okay. And I know that some things people are going to really jive with and other things they're going to be freaked out with, you know, um, especially Halloween. Um, a lot of people don't like clowns. And I like clowns a lot. Um, I've always liked clowns. Uh, but some people are very scared of clowns. So I do a lot of clown uh, makeup looks. And I really want to do two more um, based on this um, painting uh, of a clown. It's more of a French clown. And it's so pretty. And I'll, I don't want to overwhelm people with clowns. but So I just decided to, to skip it. I did a red demon and a purple demon that looks like Ursula. I was like, God, that does look like Ursula. It was kind of, kind of terrifying. But it came out nice, but it wasn't exactly my vision. And then the last one I did yesterday came out beautifully. It was stunning. It looked like skin. It was so pretty. And I have a lot of that on TikTok. And I only have one picture on my Instagram because on the 31st, I plan to upload all my Halloween looks. And full detail. There you go. Okay, it's coming along. It's happening. You know what? I may hang some ribbons on the side. I may have some ribbons on the side. I'm texting. I don't know if you... I think if you're texting, you're going to adopt a little bit of the... The uh, Mexican culture or Tejano culture. It's, Mainly, um, if you're day, day of the day, mainly if you're Mexican and Catholic, that's what they usually follow. But I've always loved it. Square dancing, all that stuff. I used to do that. I used to make us do square dancing in um, elementary school in Texas. So weird. Do, do that's that. I'm still going in. With this glue. Y'all probably like, what is she doing? Afro Chronicles. I plan to do a podcast. So I'm really motivated for the future. I have several podcasts on my laptop. And I just haven't posted them. Um, some of them are very personal. And I'm like, maybe that's just too much information. Uh, maybe I want it to be beauty related, but um, I have to kind of think on that, what I want to do with that. It's so funny. It's like, uh... So tonight for a Halloween look, I'm going to probably do something like a nice soft sugar skull. I'm not going to do a traditional one where it's all white. Because uh, I'm going to say that for tomorrow. And I'm probably going to rhinestone up my face when I do that one. And that's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, sugar skulls take a lot of time. Even though I've done them like three or four times. Sugar skulls take a lot of time. It's a lot of patience. So hopefully I'll get started around eight. So bam. It's a little hot right now. Dale Slos Muertos, Day of the Dead, Sugar Skull, Crown Piece. And some of my Instagram, you'll see I've done some Sugar Skulls, but I've done it with the roses. I'll show you what the roses look like. I'm probably going to add some more streamers to this. It's so cute. Okay. So this right here is what I originally did. 
And these roses, uh, the prettiest I've ever gotten has been from Hobby, Hobby Lobby. And this is about five years old. Not one has fallen off. I use the same thing I'm doing now, gluing it, five years old. But the bands on here are wider, so they fit my big ass head. And then what I did was I put the flowers on top of it versus putting it on the side. So like this one, I um, this one I put on the side so you could see the flowers a little better. This one I just put on the top. You see what I'm saying? There. So this is, I still love these. I still use them on occasion, just not very often. So I have to kind of put it like that. See how it fits? And I don't really have to use a band. I've used this several times for my sugar skull look. I'm tired of using them. I'm going to do an orange look. Now this. Ah. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I see you. Okay. Yes. 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 Gaga. Yes. Yes. Gaga. Oh my God. Okay. Ooh, yeah. So what I would do is tighten this. That's flipping awesome. That's going to be awesome. And what I'll do is maybe put some streamers here. Right here. Put some streamers. Have it kind of coming down. That's pretty. Very, very happy with that. Okay, perfect perfection then I'll go in with another set of streamers do y'all have any questions for me uh, you want to talk about something while I'm sitting here streaming this well, well I got a little free time downtime super stoked I'm so tacky like I'm super stoked oh my god Any videos you'll like to see? I do plan to use um, the NARS matte foundation. I've used it twice, and it's pretty fucking good. I used it second time. I used it was more for like a Morticia Adams look, and it was beautiful, very very matte. So I was very impressed with how that turned out. Um, Oh, and, oh, you asked me about um, the Pat McGrath. Uh, Pat McGrath. I did not get any Pat McGrath stuff because I'm trying to be a good girl. I'm trying to be a, I'm trying to be a responsible woman. I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to really manage the money. Like, if I see that I've used it or I have something similar I just don't buy it because I spent a coin on her, on her pink, because it was pink packaging. Because that's just how I am. I love fucking pink packaging. And um, I brought her that uh, rose one in that metallic pink. And I brought the other rose two, rose one in that matte pink. And I lost my damn mind. I swear to God, I lost my mind. I said, Lord Jesus, help me. Beautiful, and um, I'm going to show you how much Pat McGrath I have. Oh, my gosh. I still have to take my nails off, too. I'm not going to look forward to that. It takes me about two days to soak off my nails <sighs> fully. So hopefully this comes off pretty easy. All right. That's my second streamer there. Uh, I'm going to show you what I got as far as Pat McGrath. So, this one, I've got a lot. Pat McGrath, that's just the regular packaging. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I cannot complain about anything. I cannot complain about anything. Be beautiful colors. 
beautiful, 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 beautiful fucking colors. Absolutely fantastic. I don't think there's one palette that I can I can say, oh my god, I can't stand. I do wish that her cardboard outer would be a little bit a little bit better. You see that? That's not me. It was shipped to me like that. I and I don't have time to complain about stuff like that. I just like as long as the inside looks good, I'm good. But you'll find myself doing that. Sometimes it, it pops open. So I wish that would be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's this one. That's their limited edition one. I'm just going to open it for you. Hold on. Just shits and giggles. There you go. Again, black packaging. I mean, I got so much fucking Pat McGrath. That's ridiculous. That silver right there is everything. All the colors in here are Flipping in freaking insane. Insane. Color payoff just ridiculous. This is just for toppers. This just so the top. Those are not used for it. You have to have something else to, to blend that. Beautiful, beautiful. That silver is gorgeous. When I've used it, it's just it's been phenomenal. That's another one. Oh my gosh, let me show you all the big ones. Where's my pink ones at? Where are my pink? I want to show y'all the pink ones, the limited edition ones. Let's see. Oh, they're right here. Oh my God, how many do I have? Why do I have two of these? Oh my God. Are, are these all the same? I'm so confused. Oh my God. I don't even know what's going on here. I think this one's my double. This is my twin. Yeah, that's my double. I think this one. Yeah, that's my double. I was like, what the fuck? That's my double. Oh my gosh. Okay. What in the hell? So, okay, you got these. These right here were the last purchases I brought. This is sin against God. I brought simply because it was pink packaging. Simply because it was pink packaging. Simply because it was pink packaging. And I felt disgusted. I felt dirty for days after that. So... It's got fingerprints on. It gets fingerprinty. This is the metallic one. That's her newest Rose 2 collection. Rose 2. And I don't even know the full details of it. I just bought it because it had pink packaging. It has gold. And then it has... Let me rub this shit off. And then I'll let y'all go. I'm just uh, rambling on. But I gotta at least show y'all that. Pink packaging. And you can see... Pat McGrath. This one, the color shifting one, holy shit. I wish this whole palette was nothing but color shifting. Natasha Denona has one, a new palette that's coming out, and it has two or three multi shifting um, colors in there. And uh, I want the palette, but I know it's going to cost a grip, and I don't want to spend that kind of money on it. Natasha Denona's palettes aren't consistent. And I spent a lot of money and wasted a lot of time and cried a lot over that. So I don't really touch her stuff until I get a review from my YouTube family, Instagram family. This is the pink one. This is the rose one. Look. You can't tell me you wouldn't get this. Look at this. Like for real? Really, auntie? I call it Mama Pad. Jackie calls her auntie. But it's like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, I just brought it for the fucking packaging because it's just fucking stunning. Because uh, I was stalking the website for this. I was, I, I don't know if I even pre-ordered this. I can't even remember, but I was stalking it. I was like, I want it. I think I stayed up really late trying to get it. Look, look at this. So, it's the Rose 2. I haven't touched this palette, as you can see. Um, I need to get to it. It's, just, it's pink. It's fucking pink. 
Like that's sick. Pat, I need more like this. I need more like this. This packaging is it's dope. That on my that on my vanity makes me want to go whoop, 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 whoop. Makes me feel like a woman. Ooh. Just love it. So I'm not gonna go into detail. So that's just some of them. And then this one. I have these three. Those are the original bigger ones, right? I'm not going to open all of that. You've probably seen this about a million times. I got all these three. And I think I got one or two smaller ones. So I got this smaller one. And <clears throat> this smaller one. I didn't get the other small one too. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, my God. I forgot all about that. Oh, my fucking God. Okay. Then I got this one too. So I'm a little bit tapped out when it comes to Pat McGrath. It's not that I don't, I couldn't get it. It's like I just don't want to because a lot of the colors seem very um, repetitive. So I decided not to get any more. The new one didn't come in that really pretty hard casing. And I didn't want to spend that kind of money unless it came in a hard casing. My good friend got it and she loves it. But a lot of those colors I kind of have in that palette. So I just let it go there wasn't enough unique colors in there to, to do all of that but anyway where the hex we're in the hex so what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna let y'all go and i'm gonna finish this shit up and uh, hopefully i do a really nice pretty sugar skull tonight and not fuck it up because sometimes that happens and i appreciate y'all watching um I will probably do an another live tomorrow showing you my kind of what I'm get ready with me going to vote kind of thing. It's going to be simple makeup. It's probably going to feature more than likely that matte foundation. I've not done my makeup like pretty, pretty makeup in weeks. So I'm really excited about that tomorrow and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for walking, walking. Thank you so much for watching. That's the Chardonnay speaking and I will see you in the next video. That's gross. That's just plastic. That's just a hot glue gun. I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care. Bye.